Hey guys, everyone, it's Brett from Iron Body Martial Arts here. How's it going? In case you don't know, I run a channel here on YouTube that focuses mainly on old style traditional martial arts and conditioning training. Thanks for all the likes and subscribers and people who follow the channel and the guys who uh, follow the Patreon um, page. All right, so let's go through um, a, a guard that's a useful guard. Let's have a look at it. Okay, so the guard's fairly simple. The guard is a defensive posture as well. So this can be um, in a confrontation situation, your hands are out, you know, you like this, whatever, or you like this, ready, um, your hands like this, which isn't the greatest idea. Um, you're ready, ready, something happened, and you're gonna blade off. And you can see what that does is it makes me small, smaller uh, target here, yeah? So you're gonna blade off like this, yeah? So you can practice doing this, it's really simple and easy, but you can practice doing this backwards, yeah, as if you're gaining some distance, yeah? backwards yeah and you can practice it with a little step like a little triangular step yeah uh, almost sanction style you can practice it with a more natural like small step and a move like a duck and you can practice it with a big step yeah big step yeah whichever one you can do yeah see so practice it with the different footworks yeah small uh, and flat and the important thing is you're blading out because someone's hitting or someone's attacking and you're you're blading out yeah and you're reducing that attack area yeah so good thing that you're doing here as well is you're covering up the face and the body chest and stuff like that vital areas you've got this hand back and it can help you too so yeah this hand's coming to about here yeah yeah and the hands are relaxed another cool thing you can do as well is if you're on the front foot um, you can you can practice uh, on your boxing bag as well. You can practice just shooting this in just a little with the elbow. Yeah, so you can practice shooting that in with the with the step. Yeah, as so as you blade out, you blade forward. Yeah, and you can practice shooting this elbow in. Yeah, and that's like a so, sternum sort of practice. Okay, guys, so that's it for part one. Um, and I just wanted to cover off that obviously this position. Um, only exists for a couple of seconds. Just to clear up any misconceptions, maybe people don't understand. I'm not saying um, in, a, in a real self-defense situation, whatever, you sort of go like this and then you stand like this for the whole time. Um, so I'm just gonna clear that up because I can see that being a YouTube thing. People will be like, oh, if you stand like this, you know, someone's just gonna hit you everywhere here. No, that's not how the guard works. Um, but in the coming videos, we can go into all the logistics of the guard, but hopefully most people would realize that it's, it's orientation based. So where the opponent is, this is a reaction to that bit. So, you know, if, if you're the opponent, the camera is the opponent, boom, I'm blading off here. Yeah. And that's the idea. You know, I'm not doing this. You know, if you're over there, I'm not going like this, and you're over here, I'm certainly not going like this and staying like that. Um, or, you know, or, or be it, that's a bit too uh, of an unnatural way to move. Um, I suppose nothing could stop someone from keeping this as their guard, but people will pick the holes in it, yeah? So we'll go into it in the coming videos. If you guys are interested, put your comments below. Um, but the, the principle behind this guard is a pretty old martial arts principle of making your target smaller, yeah? That's, that's pretty much it, all right? So we'll go into it more, but I just wanted to clear that up. Give it a try. Um, and then in the coming videos, we'll also go into like the attacks and the things that can come from this guard because there's so many. Um, one other small point is with this backhand, people might be like, well, why don't you just put the backhand um, up here? Why don't you just do a guard like this? Well, yes, that's a different guard. Um, so this is the bladed guard. And part of the bladed guard is that to encourage this bladed movement, you kind of have to throw this shoulder back. Because um, if you try and keep it forward, you don't really blade, you can't blade out as good. It's a different guard then. So it's a different guard, yeah. Um, it also comes into play with weapon work and stuff. This is a happy medium. It can be anywhere here from where you like. Um, you can use it to check and deflect stuff. But again, that's uh, part of the coming videos. So, so give it a try. Um, one other final point is don't bother trying to do it um, 
and look all like uh, and look all cool and whatever because i mean yes you're doing it because it's a strong structure it's a strong bone structure and everything's but don't try and do it to, you know you might have seen the first ones i did where i'm just going like this uh, and you're like oh well, that, that's what's that going to do you know it doesn't look very cool but in real life you've only got a few seconds to move yeah in a real uh, self-defense situation someone's coming at you or whatever they're going to headbutt you they're going to whatever you've got a couple of seconds to to move uh, and this is a problem with a lot of self-defense stuff is people try and invent time yeah that you don't have um, so really you've got as much time as the attack takes you've got even less than that to respond yeah and this is one of these things you can do with the blade principle yeah, all right. Anyway, um, I'll catch you around.